Greetings, everyone. Craig Hester here with R2AWatches.com, and thank you for joining us as we continue on our journey through all the watches and accessories that are available at R2AWatches.com. And boy, do we have something to talk about today that's just now come available at R2AWatches.com. I kind of want to skip the announcements that I usually do at the beginning because I'm so ready to jump into these watches, but I am going to quickly say, if you're watching this on Facebook, be sure to join the closed group Vostok Europe Timepieces, or VET. And if you are watching this on YouTube, be sure and hit like and subscribe um, or ring that bell and ring that bell to get those early notifications as soon as we post a new uh, video. All right, today, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are talking about the Molnia Watch Company of Russia. Now, Molnia means lightning in Russian. It is a true Russian brand. Now, this is a second iteration of that brand. Uh, the original Molnia went out of business in 2007, but a new group of, of investors came together uh, to create a new line of watches under the Molnia brand. And I got to tell you, they kick ass. I mean, these are some amazing watches. Um, we, we every, when we, it's kind of whenever we get a new brand or or we get new models. When Vostok Europe has new models or Stravinsky has new models, um, or we get a new brand, it's kind of like Christmas around here. Like w when we open up the the package today, I actually had an appointment right when uh, the new Slavas, which by the way will be going up on the site. I had an appointment right when they came in, and I was so bummed because I wanted to see the watches right then because it is such a thrill. Uh, to see something new, and especially um, with what these guys are doing, um, it is, it's really impressive. We're already, uh, in the brief period of time that we've had Molnia on the website, we've already had more than one sellout. I think we've had five or six of them to sell out right away because everybody knows this name and they are, are they're going to learn it from us um, and how, uh, just, just how amazing it is. All right, before I jump into anything else, the first thing I want to talk about is the movement that's in two of these watches here. It is a proprietary uh, in-house movement of Molnia, uh, and it is an 18 jewel pocket watch movement, and it is beautifully decorated. I mean, just beautifully decorated. Um, just take a look here. Let me get that strap out of the way. The blued screws, the guilloche on the top plates, um, the, this big, bold pocket watch movement in big, bold watches. This one uh, is known as the Tribute, and that's because they're they're paying homage to the pocket watches that Molnia made. Molnia was largely a pocket watch manufacturer. Um, they also manufactured, and you've, you've seen us uh, have them in the past. They're not available anymore. Uh, but they, they manufactured the mechanical clocks that went into MiG and, and, and other uh, Russian aircraft. Uh, so they, they were manufacturing those along with uh, pocket watches is what they largely did. You've seen them. They're all, you can still get them all over, uh, uh, all over eBay. You'll, you'll see the, the original pocket watch movements that Molnia did. Now, at this point, Molnia is building watches, not pocket watches. I think they may have two or three pocket watch models, but really what interested us is what they were doing in the watch category. Um, they're, they're big, bold, uh, very, you could just feel the quality. The packaging is off the freaking hook. I mean, I, I'll, I'll go, I'll show a little bit of this packaging later, but you know, the packaging is just unbelievable, um, especially for the Hyron, which I'm going to show you in a second. So let me just show you really quick. This one is from a, uh, from a model line called the Green Ray. And it also has that beautiful decorated 3603 movement in the back. I just, I, I stopped there for a second because I get, I get struck by the beauty of that, of that movement. I'm seriously saying that. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I, I do. I just, I look at that movement and go, wow. Um, this is the evolution, which is uh, inspired by, for, for want of a better way of putting it, inspired by those cockpit clocks I was talking with you about. Um, this one has a closed case, closed case back. It has a Miyota movement, a Miyota chronograph movement in it. Then we've got the Salita, what they call the Hyron. They wanted to name it after the designer of the watch, uh, but they, his name was already uh, trademarked. So they had to come up with a name for it, and they came up with the name Hyron. Um, just a fantastically beautiful timepiece. There you can see I'm changing the date. Like, said, like that's a big deal, but at least you can see it that it works. Um, screw in crown, 200 meter water resistant, fantastically tight rotating bezel. And come on, that shark on the dial. Phew. 
this is just a cool freaking watch, guys. It's just, these are some amazing watches. Uh, every one of them is a numbered limited edition. A lot of them, not really, not really a big number. Like, you know, they're 500 and not, not 5,000. Um, this is the Bacall. It's named for the largest freshwater lake in Asia. Uh, it's also a 200 meter diver. So I'm not going, I know, I'm sure you've noticed I'm not going into every specific detail. I'm not giving you the size, the case size. I'm not going into the, into the, uh, what type of crystal they have or anything. We will do that. We're going to do individual videos about the individual watches from Molnia and from Slava. Um, just like we've been doing with Vazak Europe and Stramansky and, and uh, other brands that we've been carrying. So you're going to see detailed videos about each one. Basically, I wanted to give you this. This video is really just to give everybody a heads up that we are now carrying Molnia lightning in a bottle. Uh, light, it means lightning in Russian. Um, we're now carrying Slava, which means glory in Russian. Uh, I'm going to do a quick overview video of uh, Slava as well. Um, we're just what we're excited because you know the original onus uh, originally R2A was was called Russia to all, um, and we changed that name for obvious reasons as politics changed over the years. Um, but the 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 original you know uh, core fo focus of uh, R of, of Russia to all now R2A watches was Eastern European and Russian timepieces, and obviously with Vostok Europe we've got Eastern European covered. Um, and that's still by far our largest brand, but we're excited about the fact that we've got two brands now that are definitely Russian brands. They, they are in Russia. They're hand assembled in Russia. Uh, in the case of Molnia, they've got their, uh, in-house movement. Uh, and it's, it's, it's really cool to be able to add something of this quality and of this interest, uh, from, from Russia, since that was really a part of our original onus, uh, being, uh, Russia to all. And then of course now we're R2A watches. Um, you're going to love these watches if you pick one up and I'm going to, I'm going to repeat myself a little bit. Just look at that movement, that 18 jewel pocket watch movement. Do you know how much, I mean, how much th these are, these are clearly uh, very affordable, which you'll find out if you look on the site, I don't ever say any prices in the videos because they, they change. Um, but these are very affordable. We're talking a few hundred dollars. Do you know how much a Swiss version of this with this type of pocket watch movement in it would cost. It's multiples upon multiples of what it's costing uh, to get this kind of movement on your wrist uh, from Molnia. So that's a quick overview. Oh, I did want to show a little bit of the packaging, especially the Hyron. This thing, this is just, look at that. It's, it's individually just for the Hyron. It's about the size of a basketball. <laughs> it's, extremely well made. The inside is metal. I mean, I, I, their packaging just blows me away. Uh, Slava, Slava's the same way. Slava has this just fabulous packaging. I don't know how they can afford to do it where you have one that's just, a, you know, only tied to one model. It's, it's expensive because, you know, you, 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 um, you save money when you do things in bulk and they're doing these in small custom. Same here. This this one which one is this for? Hey, this, is for the evolution. this is for the evolution. And another thing that they do, which I've never ever seen, the manual is only it's it it's not just for that model. The pictures in the manual match the picture match the watch. So if this had been a different colored, a different colorway, then this this uh, uh, passport this manual would. <clears throat> Would have a different color watch in it. It's just crazy. It's just off the hook. Um, what they do, even their even their smallest, simplest packaging, is really really nice. Leather, oh, just really well made. So, um, from 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 design, let's just I mean let's just say it from design to locale to packaging, everything to me and to Abe. It feels like they're doing it right. They're, I mean, there obviously there's some things that we we probably will 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 find out a little over time, and we'll give them some advice, and they'll give us some advice. But these hit the ground running, guys. Do not hesitate to pick up Ammonia. You will you will absolutely love having it in your collection. All right. Well, I think that's enough of a of an overview. And until next time, I'm Craig Hester with R2AWatches.com, and keep watching.